the premise of the game I said was I didn't tell you much. I just said that you are uh, two like mu- electronic music festival archetypes. So do you want to kind of introduce your characters while I uh, bring my stool back up? Yes, uh, this this is going to be a, a repeating bit. Is it's not actually a bit. Is we for some reason these bar stools on our bar. One of the hydraulic mechanisms is just kind of messed up. I feel like you guys are the only ones falling. No, it's just I'm me. Oh, it's just Both just of you. yours are fine. <laughs> like, I think that it, it drops to the same height. I feel like you could see it on the camera in real time. Anyway, as the host of this show, I will introduce your character first. Oh. Uh, the, which In which you will do with your okay. mouth and your words. Oh, I was going to tell you to get your pit vipers so you could both oh, in character wear the pit vipers. Oh, that's true. My my character would not wear the pit vipers. Oh, okay. But from Neither the looks of the very large name that Tanner wrote that I was pretty close to guessing, <laughs> yeah. his Are character you... would. I Okay, I'm calling a judge. She's reading my character sheet. It's supposed to be a fucking secret. It's not a secret. We're about to spill off, man. <laughs> okay, you go ahead. Uh, like, I'm, okay, we're going into details here. Um, well, I, I would say, tell us what your name is, what you look like, and your general background. You don't have to, like, get into your yeah. stats and your inventory and stuff. That can kind of come out. Okay, should, should I do it in the voice, too? Probably, because <laughs> I mean, that's that'll, creative. You, you do prob- you. That'll probably make it better. Okay, so, um, my name is Courtney. It's the name that was given to me by my single mother, and I want to honor that because that's what she gave me when I was born. But I'm actually known as Starseed Child of the Indigo Night, or at Starseed on Instagram and TikTok. Wait, she got she got at Starseed. <laughs> like, that's that's actually pretty impressive. Like on the ball, I know. Like right? as she, soon as a new platform opens, you're like, I'm getting Starseed on everything. She, Kelly, Kelly, she was hold the, on, Kelly. What? This, this, she's not real. <laughs> but I'm just enamored by the character. Like I assume that Instagram and TikTok are as real in this universe. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Um, she's got awful matted blonde dreads with grass, dirt, and flowers stuck in them. A very nice long yellow flowery, or sorry, a purple flowery sundress because she's an indigo child. Wait, is the word patchouli on your character sheet? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not, but it, I do have sage though. <laughs> Um, she's got super dirty bare feet with band-aids because she stepped on a rusty nail at one of the stages. Um, and, uh, she doesn't shave anything, anything at all. No judgment. No judgment. No uh, judgment. Uh, her back for background. I just, she's feminist as fuck. Burn the patriarchy. Why, mm. You wrote all of the rest of that stuff. Not in the background panel. No, this is what she looks like. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. Yeah. She looks like a feminist. <laughs> like, <laughs> she has no background. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's right. that's that. Cool. That's <laughs> okay. yeah. That's Courtney. Well, I didn't write about my character's Instagram. Starseed. Star. Her friends Seed. call her Excuse Starseed. <laughs> All right. My character's name is Brad. <laughs> uh, he sure. He wears a black baseball hat, a black tee, and blue jeans. How did I know you're slender and stoic? Um, he's adopted. Has a very bland personality, and techno is the only interest or hobby he's ever had, and he's depressed. <laughs> I will give him credit for this. It's not Psytrance. <laughs> it's close enough. It's in the same ballpark. I mean, I, I believe you. They're all, it's, they Brad, all sound the same. Brad would not. Brad would kill me if I said that. But <laughs> like most... all the genres do sound the same, but somehow Psytrance is worse. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome because we just came from Inshallah, which is a very like, very Psytrance. Oh, I noticed festival. large representation of Psytrance. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So yeah, that's uh, that's Brad. All right, he plays techno. Oh, is he DJ? Yeah. So I, I actually was like trying to think of the name, right? And I, was I like, totally know you were gonna go for like the DJ playing route. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I, I, I was like, like, his name is Chad, isn't it? I feel like the low hanging fruit was like the Wook. I know, and I took that fruit, yeah, but I did it took, well. Yeah. See, I, I went a layer above that, Callie. I don't yeah. know <laughs> if it's above or below, really. Okay, so. Uh, you two are at a unnamed music festival in Southern BC. Uh, oh gee, which one? Uh, it's like, uh, it's kind of near like a little sleepy mountain town and it's on like a big farm. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. So, uh, you two are in the Woodstock. same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a Woodstock. Uh, you two are in a camp together. Uh, do, do you know each other? 
Ooh, interesting. Question. I would almost say no. I feel like our characters are pretty opposite. Yeah. I feel like it's more fun if you don't know each other. Yeah. You probably don't hang out in the same crowd. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're you're in the same camp. You're about to you're about to take a drug together. And Oh, here we go. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like maybe maybe tell me like what the connection is. Like you have a mutual here or um, let's uh, sister's friend or something. Like, yeah, some sort of family member or or, or a friend camp. of a friend sort of deal brought us into the same camp. Okay, well that person is there, and so is a guy named uh, Bearcat. He's like a, a pudgy guy with a big beard. Um, he he does like a whole thing where he'll walk around with like a sign that says like um free no not free hugs like hugs for we like we'll trade hugs for hugs that's what he does mm, right that's even worse <laughs> yeah <laughs> trying he's to be clever he's got like extremely nasty dreads i probably know him yeah <laughs> and uh he's, he's excited he's got him. he's got this like foil thing and he's like all right guys we're gonna try this new awesome thing acid out the door uh this is a sweet new chemical called lsz mm, why no. would you bring that up Oh no, this this is And everyone is taking a gummy in their hand and this everyone is, is really excited. <laughs> so um yeah, so you guys are about to take this. Uh, is there anything you want to do before you like pop it in your mouth? Um God, I, f- I feel like I want to know the context as to how we all got convinced to do it. Bearcat's very convincing. Sure. He's really stoked. He's like, I've been researching all these yeah. RCs. And like, yeah, so this one, it's basically like the same, but it's like it lasts a little longer. And it's kind of like a little stronger. And you just get like, yeah, it's just you, you get more of a vibe, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like oh, it vibes so you harder. the vibes, bro. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll like... just draw on my personal experience of being convinced to do that thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I... you, you, neither of you has ever heard of this substance. And uh, yeah. I just I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I'm gonna take the, the <laughs> this is too close to I'm gonna take the gummy in my in my hand and like this the, as the sun is setting we're just I'm just gonna sit there with it and I'm just gonna put so much energy and just loving intention into this trip because I want it to be super magical and like I want to just like learn a lot of things from it mm. yeah yeah <clears throat> I probably <clears throat> can envision brad standing there and just internally like mocking the shit out of you (laughs) as you spend a lot of effort proclaiming all of that to the rest of us i'm like i'm like half proclaiming but i'm also just kind of sitting there with my eyes closed just like like kind of like mumbling some like weird like speaking in tongue shit like yeah yeah putting on a show right (laughs) whereas like i probably just like the halfway through Bearcat trying to convince me to do it, I'm probably just like, yeah, I'm doing it. And then no words are exchanged. I just grab the gummy and I'm probably the first one to put it in my mouth. So you like, you don't send intention. You don't send energy. No. Okay. No. So what I'm having you both do is you're going to both, you're going to each in turn roll for vibes, like how good your vibes are. And <laughs> I think vibes. that Callie's going to roll with advantage and you're going to roll disadvantage. <laughs> do I roll all of them? Yeah. So roll both. And then you take the better one and then he can like roll all four dice. And between the red and the white, like, whichever... Yeah, so, like, what are the reds showing? There are three? They are... Yeah, three. And you're a five on white? Five. So your your vibes are five. So maybe put, like, five marks on your sheet. Because these are going to be important. I gotta grab my pen. Okay. Well, why don't... Just roll for him. He's running away. (laughs) Oh, wait. I I thought the red was rolling for me. No, no, no. So she rolled. The reason I have four dice here is you can roll four dice, and then with advantage or disadvantage, you can tell which is which pair instead of having to roll twice. Just right. So the white is always advantage, and, and the red here. is always no, no, no. <laughs> no she rolled. Roll. Just roll, roll all the dice. Uh, okay. All right. There'll be a red number and a white number. You're going to take the worst one. Three and eight. So you're three. Okay. I see. I see. I yeah. There it. you go. So I have a. a my vibes are three. Yeah. Red. Put them wherever you three want. Three vibe. All right, so here's what happens after you take it. So you're all kind of hanging around the camp and you like, you know, waiting to come up, sun's going down and you're starting to notice like weird synchronicities, right? Like, um, like one person will like take their hat off and someone else puts their hat on, but they don't realize they're doing this. Uh, and what else happens? Like, you know, uh, one person, like every time somebody leaves the camp, like somebody else like shows up and you, you guys, you're starting to kind of notice this and you're sitting next to each other. 
and uh, you're, you're kind of like, whoa, like, did this, did this just happen? Did that just happen? And at one point, you have this little conversation about a synchronicity, but then you have it again, and you have it again, <laughs> and it's starting to feel like you're stuck in a time loop. Oh God! <laughs> and after what, what, after what I'm gonna guess is approximate here. Let me roll for it. Uh, infinity loops. <laughs> you finally, you finally say to each other. Are we stuck in a time loop? But you say it at the exact same time. And you just stare at each other in amazement at like, what happens now? And then you start to notice around you reality kind of dissolving into like an infinite hexagonal grid. Or like, no, not hexagons. You know how uh, on a soccer ball, like the grid is of like, I think it's like seven sided mm -hmm. because it's round. That's what you're seeing because reality is not flat. Ooh. You're seeing a soccer, infinite soccer ball pattern and like, the grid is made of brilliant white light and the grid itself starts to expand and the like negative space starts to shrink until everything, the reality just dissipates and everything is white and you're in a featureless void. You're in, yeah, you're in a featureless oh, that, void. That, that, okay, yeah. You're yeah, done, well, done, I, I've been talking a while. Yeah. I thought I'd give you a chance to do something. Like, I don't know, examine your surroundings or... Uh, I, I examine my surroundings. Okay, are you are you good or bad at perception? Is that a strength or weakness? Uh, <laughs> oh, I am good at perception. Okay, so roll perception with advantage. What's what's your better one there? They are the same. They are six. Okay, you got a six. So with a six, you notice that you're in a featureless void. <laughs> Dude, wonderful. This is like we're in purgatory man well you only got a six you didn't realize that he's there oh like he's not even there he is there but you rolled a six so you don't notice this so what do you want to do real quick oh I it's brad's turn it's brad's turn <clears throat> um well wait do i i don't have to roll um well do, do you want to examine your surroundings or what are you gonna do just tell me what you're gonna do uh, <laughs> i feel like brad would just be like unimpressed <laughs> all right <laughs> just like doesn't care yeah so you're unimpressed and eventually you you, you come to notice each other okay yeah so you see each other and you kind of hear like a faint hum in the background but it's not that perceptible yet do either you want to do anything or you just kind of want to like wait and see what happens um i f i feel like like that 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 hum like it it totally sounds like this like singing bowl that my mother had growing up and I just I feel really connected to it so I think I kind of want to go check out where I think the like singing bowl is because like there might be people there that are like meditating to like find us you know because I feel pretty lost right now <laughs> am I nailing it or what yeah <laughs> um it's like you've met these people before. <laughs> Maybe. Well, okay, I'm confused. Are we... In a featureless white void, yes. We are in a featureless Sorry, white void. Sorry, according to my notes, a feature <laughs> list white void. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But we can tell, like, we can tell the direction, at least, that the sound is coming from. Like, are, if we yeah, it's to... getting a bit louder, and on what, where a horizon would be, you're starting to see, like, a little blob. Are we looks walking, like or are we, like, I don't, floating? You haven't told... You're, you're in the middle of it. You're not moving unless you choose to move. Yeah, but I mean, like, are our feet, like, do we, like... It do feels we... like you're on a floor, but you can't see one. Okay. Okay, are we aware of each other? Yeah, I think by now you figured out each other here. Okay, so I'm, I'm in a featureless white void, and I look over, and I see... What was your name? Everybody Star calls Seed. me Starseed. Starseed. I see, yeah. I see Starseed. I think at that point... I don't know. I'd probably be like, I'm bored. Like, I, I probably wouldn't follow... I'd probably try to exit. <laughs> try to find the door. So you're walking away from her. Yeah, I'd try to find the exit Okay, sign. no, no, no. But, like, you need to understand. Like, look around you. There's, like, there's literally nothing here. Yeah, there's no techno, so I want to leave. Okay, but, like, just, like, I just, I just need you to, like, just, like, put a little bit of trust in me. Just trust. We can just go. I just, like, pull out a cigarette and light it and just stare at you really, like... <laughs> So you have a, you have like a cigarette in your inventory? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> and a lighter. Cigarettes apparently. and a lighter. Are those your two items? It was, sorry, the, the lighter's I, in the pack of smoke, so it's one. I think that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pack of smokes with with the lighter in it. Nice loophole. Yeah. I don't know if the categories matter. We know what it is. Pack of smokes plus lighter. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not enthused, but I guess if if I haven't found the exit sign, I probably would follow Starseed because realizing that, you know, being that balls high, you just got to kind of go with it. So. Right. Okay, so you're not going to walk away from her. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow. I'll follow. Okay. So you're, you're walking towards the noise. Mm. So what you see, um, it's actually kind of a familiar sight the closer it gets. Have you ever seen the Welcome to the Black Parade music video? <laughs> yeah. So you see a parade float and you see um, these like figures on it and they got these uniforms on and you, you kind of see the person in the like there you hear music that has like an MCR vibe, but it's not an actual song you've ever heard. It's kind of just sounds like it sounds like five songs being played at once, but somehow it's perfect. And as it approaches, you get a good you get a good glimpse of the figure in the on the front of it, right? The oh my god, of, is it Gerard Way? It it looks like uh, it looks like Oscar Wilde cosplaying as Gerard Way. <laughs> so you see this figure. Hang on a sec. I have something for this. <laughs> the suiting up, suiting up. Sorry, I thought that was the Prince of Christmas. <laughs> well, that was last night. Alright. So, yeah, he's got a jacket kind of like this, but like it's more of an entire suit deal. And, uh, so, like, this thing comes louder and, like, the ethereal music... Sorry, the thing comes closer, the ethereal music gets louder, and it feels like the parade is, like, simultaneously coming towards you and moving away from you and, like, moving past you uh, until it finally it just seems to, like, converge on a single point and it's the parade is just stopped in front of you and the, uh, they all, the singing stops and they all look very solemnly down at you. They're, they're just like spitting distance away now. Do they like, do they look sad? A bit. Well, mm, uh, why don't you roll for your perception? You have advantage on that, right? Yeah. All right. What do you keep hitting? The PlayStation. <laughs> uh, five. Yeah. So it, he just, it looks very serious. They all look very serious. They're all just looking at you. Um, are they men? Are there women there? <laughs> so they all kind of have like an androgynous vibe. Um, the The person in front seems a bit male coded. Like, like I said, just imagine like Oscar Wilde, like a very foppish dandy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like wearing, you know, like a very like traditionally masculine suit. But you kind of suspect this person might like transcend gender. I mean, I'm, I'm I, I could be into that. <laughs> All right. Do you guys want to do anything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So sensing your hesitation, the the person in the front finally speaks up. Hello, I am the Prince of Christmas. Oh <laughs> How are you both? Um, I I I mean, like we're I I think we're like a little bit lost. And we just need some, like, directions, I think, to get back. Also, I should also mention that she's, like, incredibly, like, unforgivably stoned at all times. Mm -hmm. So she's, like, super slow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Brad's probably just, like, just smoking a cigarette. and Just, just tweaking? Like, not, not even tweaking. Just, like, just looking for a way to just ditch this situation, you know? <laughs> just, like... What are you doing here? I sense that you're wanting to ditch the situation, Brad. <laughs> I wrote very high in my perception. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I'm afraid you cannot do that. Go ahead. Try and walk away. Okay. I invite you. All right. I just turn around and start walking away. All right. So you walk for what feels like eight hours and like you can hear them saying goodbye, eight goodbye. Hours. And like and the the voices kind of like slowly trail off behind you. After eight hours, you finally get like the you know, the two medicines to look behind you. That's not what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> you get the two medicines to look behind you and you haven't moved an inch. Oh my God. That's terrifying. Yeah. All right. I, and I for you, like, that felt like 30 seconds. I feel like that would start to become a slightly worrying situation. Oh, I sense you are worried, but fear not. <laughs> Do not be worried. No, 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 no. Well, okay. You may be worried, but fear not. I am on your team. So, I have brought you both here for a reason. He throws a lot of trilled R's into like weird places. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame blame the Prince blame of Christmas. Christmas. Yes, yeah, of course. So like he does have a mask. Or, yeah, I'm going to use he him because he does have a very masculine title. There might be a reason for it. 
He says, you too. Do you know why both of you are here and not any of your friends? I mean, quite frankly, I'm just like, I'm just a little bit wary of the situation because I feel like I was brought here against my will by somebody with a very masculine energy. And I just really don't think that that is like cool because, you know, it's like it's 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 whatever the year is. It's, uh, I believe it's like current year. <laughs> it's it's like it's 2020. What fucking year is it? 2022. It's 20. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. You know it's, what? Just roll roll two dice and it's 2010 plus that year. It's 2017. All right, 2017. <laughs> yeah. Good year. Good vintage. Yeah. Was feminism even a thing back then? Dude, that was like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was getting there, yeah. yeah. I just I just I feel like I've been brought here against my will. And I just like I I I I don't I was not asked for properly for consent to have this experience and i just think that you need to recognize that and perhaps apologize perchance oh i do i must apologize for my extremely masculine energy i i i i'm known for being the, the most masculine of all the people in the heavenly uh, so church. like a man to brag yeah <laughs> but it's because of my uh, extreme take charge attitude that I have been entrusted with bringing you to this realm against your consent. Noted. But the stakes, the stakes you see are so high for- Oh, sorry, I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat steak. <laughs> he just, he does not understand it. He just looks at you and he's like, Oh, you're confused. No, I mean the the uh oh, what's another word for steaks? The uh the 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 prospects of what could go good or bad. It's so earth-shattering. Christmas is in peril. Oh no, do we um, have to save Christmas? You do. Oh, you now. Your, perhaps your perception is better than I thought, Brad. <laughs> I am I'm also not religious. Like I think that we're all just like a part of the same energy and like I just don't think that like Christmas is like respectful of other people's cultures, she says while twir twirling her dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, you're very correct, but we, we, there's there's simply no time to get into an epistemological debate about Christmas. What you should understand is that there is a universal LNG that uh, connects everything, but it's 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 filtered to through through and to you via the lens of Christmas. <laughs> Some people have gotten it a little twisted, but the point is, if you don't save Christmas, the universal life force that connects us all will be shattered. Shit. And all of the <laughs> all of the crystals in your bathroom sink star seed will be useless. Oh fuck. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. That that gets that gets you gone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but because I do want to uh, respect the concept of consent, I will ask you: Do you take up the the the, the mantle of this 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 Im very important duty? No one else can do it. I, it's only you, the two people with the most fucked vibes of this entire festival. <laughs> <clears throat> I think Brad probably jumps at the fact that he would get credit for it, so he's like, "I'm in." <laughs> Are you so okay? Okay, just, I like. I just sorry. I'm like really stoned right now. I just need to kind of like recap what just happened. Like, are you saying, like, for real, real, like, no cap, that Christmas literally runs everything? That that is the best way to understand it with your tiny mortal brain, star. Straight bussin', no cap, sort of. Straight bussin'. Okay, and like, if we don't do this, then like, are people gonna like die or a fate worse than death? And in fact, I may not have the power to send you back to your plane. You may be in this featureless void forever. Do you like featureless voids? I mean, it's kind of peaceful. It reminds me of this one time that I went to Vipassana meditation and like hit this like crazy point of. Of, like kundalini that like i had kundalini. never i had never reached before but i mean like i'm not familiar with kundalini is that one of those italian pastas it's delicious oh oh i love it you'll have to tell me more about it later but please please we are in haste there's no time to lose christmas is in peril now and we must start planning it now in july <laughs> if people are gonna die i feel like i can't have that blood on my hands 
Let's go with that then. People are going to die, Starseed. <laughs> Well, thank you for using my chosen name. I really appreciate that. Oh, of course. I've already forgotten your normal name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, onward. He knows it's Courtney. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so he reaches into his jacket pocket, and he throws three keys up in the air, kind of like between the two of you. And we have to grab keys before they hit the ground, or what? It's your life. You I have you terrible agility and reaction. All right. So, uh, I, are I, you both going to try to I, grab yeah, them? Yeah, I try, but I for sure miss. I I try to grab all three. <laughs> I want you to both roll. Do you do you are you skilled or unskilled in that? Agility. You have agility? Okay, so you roll with advantage, you roll with disadvantage. Uh, oh, that's a 7. Yeah, you keep getting the second red one not on camera. Um, that is a 9. Okay. Um, so you you get two of them. And you get one of them, but you kind of like bump it and it like lands on the future's void ground, like right next to your feet. <gasps> Can I use this for ketamine? He bumps. Oh, you, as soon as you like, <laughs> as soon as you look back, Prince of Christmas is gone. I'm going to use this for ketamine. All right. <laughs> Do you have ketamine in your inventory or? <laughs> no. Okay. It's probably for the best. You're already on like way too much LSA. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, when you pick up and examine the keys, so, um, let me just, okay. I'm just rolling to see which ones you have. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to start with your key. Your key has, it's the inscription on the, like the base of the key is, uh, like a really sad looking woman. Yeah. How big are these keys? Um, it's sort of like, I'm going to say this long, and the, this picture is about that like big. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of comical, but like you can still hold it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's a very sad-looking woman, and whatever that, whatever Starseed perceives as a sad woman is how it shows up in your eyes. Mm -hmm. If he looked at the, the key, it would look like his interpretation of that phrase. Mm -hmm. And then your keys are, it looks like uh, a bunch of tiny beings packed into a small space. Like, they're almost like fighting against each other for space on this key they're all a bit distorted and that's like one of the keys I have. that's one of the keys you have um and then the other one has a uh just like a dark robed hooded figure like it's just like sort of like a featureless black void in a robe look but you can tell it's staring at you somehow mm. is it like the baby dolls that like wherever you walk in the room they're always looking at you yeah, like when you put the key in your pocket, you feel like it's staring at you from your pocket. Gross. Ew. Yeah. Gross. And when you look around the keys, I'll you realize two. that there are three doors in front of you with kind of like logos on them that match what's on the keys. Oh, no. Okay, so the puzzle has presented itself immediately. Um, all right. I feel like I would just sort of casually walk up, like smoking all cool. I fucking I hate that smoking is cool. But... To which door? Well, to just get a you know get a good view of the logos on the doors they they match exactly what's on the keys oh they match exactly um, that'd be too easy the keys are also slightly different sizes and the door like lock so is it very obvious that each key matches each door and that's i would say that not that yeah. you, you can try to put another door okay so at this point i guess we have to choose which key to use first like do you think it's some like do you think it's something that's like like, obviously, the keys match, but do you think it's, like, an order kind of thing? Well, if they obviously match and they are not intended for those doors, then there's, I don't know, what malicious intent involved? Like, the puzzle is meant to be... Or as my phone would write it down, militia's intent, like a militia Malicious. apostrophe S. <laughs> the intent of the militia. <laughs> Sorry, you were, on, you were on a whole thing there. Um... Is there more Old Milwaukee unofficial beer of the program? Yes, yes. there is. Uh, there's a fridge in there. Oh, you put it in the fridge. What an idea. I you, know, right? you guys deliberate for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we're standing in front of the doors. Oh, I, I feel like Brad would just like want to vibe on this. Oh, no, it's that one right that there. One there. Brad would want to like vibe on this and try and figure it out himself, but you're like annoyingly fucking talking to me and like making it hard for me to think. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, I would love one. Sponsored by Cal and Gary's. Sponsored by Cal and Gary's. <laughs> 
and cold millies. Now that we're actually in Calgary, mm-hmm. we can talk about how much money oh, co And the is Prince of us. Christmas suddenly like whips in out of the darkness and hands you old Milwaukee's and says, Hey, I have some old Milwaukee's. <laughs> Truly, you want to know the truth of the universe. They are the greatest the greatest of all the cheap beers. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Truthfully, the greatest of all the cheap beers. Oh man. Okay. He's gone again. <laughs> okay. Back to deliberation. Oh my god. Um I'm overthinking this. And Brad would be too. Yeah. <laughs> like I feel like I take well the the key with the cramped A voice comes out of the void. Yeah, overthinking this. <laughs> oh, I would find that so annoying. <laughs> um I feel like there's there's two options in the keys that I have. I'm not interested in the key she's got. There's a whole bunch of people that are cramped together, and there's a key with a dark figure on it. Yeah, like a hooded robe thing. Both of those seem like shit. Um, I think I would try the... I mean, Christmas is in peril. He's not going to have a good time. I think I would try the hooded robe one first. All right. And is it... I mean, like, is it like open the door and walk through it, or is it open the door and inspect? I, I would I would choose to open the door and inspect. Yeah, yeah. So you put the robe key in the robe door. I, I guess I would do that first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have taken initiative before her, so it definitely just happens. So you open the door, and inside this room, um, well, okay. Well, roll for your perception again. <clears throat> uh, okay. So I'll just roll the red dice. We've got six. Okay. Um. And this was the robe door, right? Yes. Um, you see at a distance a um, a large man uh, with a beard and big, disgusting dreads, and uh, there's like a something looks like a sign next to him. Um, he he gets, has like a familiar vibe. A sign next. Is one. it bear, 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 bear beard, bear claw, bear, 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 bear cat, bear cat? You rolled a six, so I'm just describing what the yeah. person looks like from a distance. They're a bit silhouetted, um, and they're kind yeah. of like they appear to be like at a table. Is this like the merchant from Resident Evil? What are you buying? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Could you have wares if you have coin? So we're in a featureless white void. And there's a door open in front of me that leads to something that is not a featureless white void. Yeah, like the... This is some Kingdom Hearts shit, man. Yeah, so like the the room, from what you can see, it like definitely looks like a room that has walls and a ceiling. And it's like... It, it seems really indoors. Like, it's... You don't see... You can't perceive what you would think of as, like, windows. All right. Probably I would slam the door and try the other door. Uh, Yeah, sure, why now, not? Now that I have, like, yeah. so, an idea... Is, is that the chair... <laughs> oh, you can hear it? Yeah. Yeah, it keeps making these these horrible fart noises. Like, is there an and the chair is making horrible fart smells, too. It's weird. <laughs> I was like, is there an elk dying like upstairs? There might be. <laughs> um, uh, wait, yeah. so hold on. So you have opened the first door. What do you do while he's doing that? Um, like, you have agency. You're a you're a modern woman. You can make choices. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I would, like, especially just, like, from judging judging what the image is of the key, it, like touches my poor little feminist heart and it makes me think that there's like what like the image again is like of a sad woman oh, i think yeah i thought you said poor little feminine heart and i'm like man you're kind of leaning into these like, no <laughs> okay sorry go ahead um and i i would have just like immediately gone because i think my like the line of thinking would be like there's there's like a woman in trouble in there or something so i would just go on like try and unlock it right away okay so you unlock it and uh what you see Inside is like a tranquil forest, and they're wait. Sorry, you you roll. You, I think your perception is advantage, yes. right? Yeah. We could have explained the game mechanics to the audience, but we didn't. Nine. Uh, everyone has picked uh, strengths and weaknesses. They have to pick one strength per weakness. All of their strengths they roll with advantage, meaning they roll two numbers, keep the best one. All their weaknesses they roll with disadvantage, meaning roll two numbers, keep the worst one. Can I do a quick little ASMR? Crisp. Oh, we love ASMR. <laughs> That's, this is another motif. Do you want to make some weird mouth noises in the microphone? Oh, please don't. No, not one. No, no. Please. It's it's terrible. No, no, no. So with a, with a nine, you do hear that sound emanating 
like faintly from this forest, but you see a tranquil forest and you kind of see some like uh, some kind of like quadrupedal figures seem to be kind of like moving in the distance and you hear kind of like a soft moaning. Like, did you ever play Left 4 Dead? No. No. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, well, for the audience, it kind of sounds like the way the witch like whines and wails. Honestly, when you say quadrupedal figures, the first thing I imagined was like the video of that girl that runs like a horse. <laughs> Have you ever is seen? Like, is this like the the puppy girl play or like? No, she just, like she does like she literally just like runs around on all fours and like does like horse jumps and stuff. Like it's not the way that a human should move at all. Hmm. It's not that. Okay. With a nine, you know it's not that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what you see. So you've each opened a door. You're slamming a door. He's walking to the other door. Are you going to walk through or? Um, because I am a starseed indigo child, I do want to make sure that one of my fellow humans, although he is a man, I do want to make sure that he's okay because now I kind of feel in charge of him. You're like in charge for, uh, for his safety. Wait, are you talking about me? Yes. I, so I, I, I would have pegged you walking straight through that door. And just... I will I will leave the door open, but I'm going to... She would have like... pegged you if you asked. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave the door open, but I'm going to like, just kind of like, I'm not going to like go after him because I don't, sorry, I'm not going to go after him because I don't want him, you know, to think that like, I'm like worried or like bending to his will or anything, but I am just going to do like a little curious peek to see what he's up to and like what he's seeing. Okay. So you're going to watch him open the third door. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you open the third door and, uh, is your door still open? Yes. Okay. So roll with, roll your perception here. Just normal roll. Myself? Yeah. That's a nine. Uh, you see exactly what she saw. Wait, the door with the crowded bunch of people on it. Yep. I open it up and I see a forest. Yep. (gasps) Interesting. Do do I see that? Yeah, yet? you're both still seeing because if the door is still open, you're both still and you're both now seeing the forest, and it's like you're seeing from right. But like, do I know that that is what he's seeing at this other door? Because I'm kind of just if like, you craned your neck, yeah, you could probably see that. Okay, it kind of just looks like there are two doors literally next to each other in a wall, and they are both open to the same room. Okay, if we if we like both peer in at the same time through the different doors that are showing the same thing, what happens? Um, you notice that the other person is like three feet away from you. Like same as on the other side of the door. Yeah. Doors are like a so foot apart. You lean in. Hey, you're right there. So it's like the same. Yeah. The same thing. It looks like two doors are the same room. Okay. And what was in the other door again? The first door. Yeah. I don't know. Door. Do you remember Brad? <laughs> yeah, I do. It was a dark cloaked figure with long dreadlocks. Uh, I can't remember the rest, but it was a definitely an interior room. Okay, so you're telling me, so you're telling me that Christmas is in trouble. You're using that voice, but the Prince of Christmas is gone. I know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me that Christmas is in trouble, and something is making Christmas in trouble. It's but, up to you to solve it. But it's up to us to solve it. Yeah. But there's these like really nice, lush, green places that we can just like go and hang out in. Yeah. I, oh, it's I, like a, it's like a wintry forest. Yeah, but I'm like all about nature. <laughs> I feel like I'd go back through the middle door, the uh, the first door that I opened, because it fits well, my aesthetic. Door. Okay. It fits my <laughs> aesthetic. Right? All right. You're just going it. You're dudeing your way through. You just walk yeah, in? I'm going to I'm gonna like walk straight up and probably just like... Wait, wait. You're going to open the third door right now? I, I guess no. I closed it, didn't I? The, yeah. Uh, you can open it again. Yeah, I'm going to open it okay, again. Okay. You open it again and you see the snowy landscape. Oh, no. This is... We fucked up. <laughs> Very confusing. Like, sorry, like the the same forest. Wait, 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 wait. I step out (coughs) and close my door and open it again. You just close the one door and open it again? Yeah. Trees. I do it to all of them. Okay, you you close all the doors? Yeah. Okay, then what do you open? All of them. Which one do you open first? The one that he opened that didn't have the shadowy figure. Okay, so now you open that door. Okay, roll your perception when you open that door. Nine. Okay, so you see um it kind of looks like you're looking in on like it's it's a very busy area. There's a lot of living beings in there. Um there's a lot of like 
uh no sorry you're looking at like the outside of a building and there's a lot of little figures huddled around it and like muttering and kind of yammering and then like a, a, a tongue you can't quite understand uh and the voices are like they're they're on like the higher end of the register and yeah they, they seem like they seem troubled okay i close all the doors and open them all again <laughs> it's like how long can we keep this going <laughs> uh and that's the and the other the other two are still all naturey. If you close oh, shit. Oh no, he just peeped. It's all good. If you close your door and then and then you open another one, you will see what was originally in it. But there's no more there's no more black figure. There's no more there's If you close all the doors and open that third door on the far right, then you see the the the, the the silhouetted large person with the beard and the nasty dreads that is like still hunched over the table. Okay. Nothing in any of the doors has changed. It's just when you leave a door open and you open a second door, it's just the first open door takes precedence. It's not a puzzle. It seems like a puzzle. It seems like a puzzle. <laughs> no, it's things just were that. changing as doors were opening, so it seems like a puzzle. <laughs> the first door you open is what shows through everything. Once you close them all, it's whatever you open first. Okay. Okay, so it was a puzzle. So you where, you, where you, you suddenly, uh, uh, the Prince of Christmas comes to you and by again, it's like, I promise you, the doors are not a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I probably, like, get snarky and look back at him. It's like, look, I've seen Star He's gone. Trek, the next generation. He's gone. I know who fucking Q is, all right? <laughs> yeah. Like, this is, this is bullshit. <laughs> um, okay, well, we should, we, should just pick, we should just pick a door. Yeah, I mean, I I was planning. This is meta gaming, but you should pick a door. <laughs> I was planning what I what like what, when I went back to the door that I originally opened. Yeah, I was expecting to see that dude with the dreads yeah, he... hunched over the table, and you said that it was just yeah. Trees. But that's because the trees door was still open. Okay, when you so did the experiment of closing all the doors, <laughs> and then you open that third door, it does show that. Is thing. that not a puzzle? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh God. It's just, you can't my see two different to, things at my once. My intention was to go through that door and to meet, meet that person. Okay, well, if you, if you close all the doors and you open that door, you see that thing. Do you want to walk through? Yes. All right, as soon as you walk through, all of the doors <laughs> and everything fall away and you're just both in that room. You are in like a kind of dungeon-y looking room. And you, now that you're in the room, um, you can see that this, um, you're a little mistaken in the dreadlocks. What you're actually seeing was like a kind of a pointed hat with like a little bobble on the end. Uh, and he's, yeah, we're in the kind of like a red suit and <laughs> fucking Santa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty Santa looking figure, but like the most haggard, bedraggled Santa you've ever seen. Prison Santa. <laughs> Prison yeah. Santa. Well, you're also noticing that like he's hunched over the table in a way that he's like chained to it. Oh God. And he's kind of like, he seems to be weeping softly. Okay. Uh, this one's on you. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. So okay. you can uh, workshop that for some time. <laughs> Brad's taking a smoke. No, Brad goes to piss in the corner, like literally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's the chamber pot. Does do, does Santa notice us coming in? It doesn't seem like it. Like, I mean, he's kind of like, he's he's facing kind of away from you. And he's chained to this table. He can't really move. He could maybe turn his head, but he's not. He's just kind of staring straight ahead and like weeping softly. Uh, I would... Probably just like walk up pretty concerned and just like kind of start like, oh, hi, Jack. Start like rubbing his back a little bit and be like, hey, man, like you, you, you doing all right? Like he just kind of shakes his head while continuing to sob and goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can tell there's something wrong because that is literally the reverse of what you're supposed to be saying. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're very perceptive. You notice he doesn't seem to be having a good time. Um, I have sage in my inventory, mm -hmm. um, but I don't have a lighter. Brad, can I can I borrow your lighter, please? Yeah, I guess. Um, and I and I light some sage and I start smudging. <laughs> you start smudging. Uh, the the there's a door to this room. And it bursts open, and you see like a cloaked figure walk in, and it, it looks exactly like, uh, like just kind of like the way you'd perceive like a Grim Reaper. Uh, it's 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 basically, and the voice sounds like Norm Macdonald, so like it's it's exactly like, <laughs> I can't do that voice, but that's what it sounds like. Yeah, Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. Yeah. So he's like, 
Oh no, wait, it doesn't sound like Norm Macdonald because it has a voice. The the voice the the hooded figure goes like hey, what are you doing? Why are you burning this in my dungeon? Who are you? Um, sorry, I just I'm I'm clearing the evil spirit. No, I am an evil spirit. I don't like this. Yeah, so that's like kind of the entire point of this exercise. And I just need you if you could just close your eyes for a second and just take some deep breaths. There's some things that need purging in this room. Uh, okay, so he he reaches out, um, like he walks up to you, and he like reaches out a robed hand to go touch your sage, and as soon as he touches it, it just like wilts and turns into ash. No sage, well, we no sage Christmas. in my dungeon. Um, Jack, I need you to kindly fuck off for a sec here, bud. Cat is also evil spirit. Don't mind him. Who? Wait, what? The cat. The cat is also oh, yeah. evil spirit. Don't mind him. <laughs> There is a, there's a cat in this dungeon. It is cuddling you, but it has like bad vibes. Bad vibes. Like you look feel at, like it's gonna. The vibes of you him. feel like you feel like the cat would claw you as soon as you stop paying attention. You're stuck with this cat now. Well, I'm now just crying about the loss of my sage that I c collected myself from a yeah. beautiful forest off the highway somewhere. So, so as you're as you're crying, uh, the hooded figure. Um, takes Santa's belt and pulls it off and like pulls Santa's pants down like to the bottom of his ass and takes the belt and just starts whipping and he's like this is what happens this is what happens Mr. Claus you this you you don't give me my money this you get punished you understand and Santa's just going oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> um. listen are you here to help with punishment or are you just here to be annoying um <laughs> I think I think Starseed's having flashbacks of why her mother is a single mother. Oh my She's God. just remembering the belt getting brought out and like just kind of like crumbles and like doesn't really know what to do. Okay, so you just got like a freeze response to yeah, all this. Yeah. Okay. yeah, Brad is just like starting to regret even being involved. <laughs> just does not want to be a part of this. All right. <laughs> and uh yeah, so the um the after like what several minutes of whipping the uh Hmm, what is what does the road figure do? I took I had like two hours to come up with this, okay? So <laughs> the the road figure like walks over to a wall and gets like okay, like what's a Christmas themed thing? Trees, reindeer, lights, snow, gingerbread skating. Um hmm. Fruit cake. Pumpkin pie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he goes and gets a gingerbread man, right? Off the wall. Goes and gets a gingerbread man, um, and he takes a big bite out of the leg, and Not the and Santa goes oh, and like his leg starts like spasming, and he's in like intense pain. Ah, Christmas voodoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, and the uh, and the hooded figure is just like yes, yes. This is how we this is how we break kneecaps in the ethereal plane. I like how the evil dude is just Russian. Yeah, <laughs> topical. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a voice I can do. <laughs> okay. I'm 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 still I'm in I'm in like freeze mode. All right. Um yeah, so what else does he do? Um he oh, so he walks up to the front of Santa and he says, "You don't like when I hurt you. You don't want me to hurt you anymore." And Santa goes, "No, oh, oh, oh." And he's like shaking his head. And he says, "Okay, then it's your turn." And he like sticks the uh, other leg of the gingerbread mouth in Santa's mouth and like forces him to bite it and the same thing happens where where Santa's other leg starts like spasming and he's just like the most intense pain and like you almost just like it seems like his legs are like withering as this happens it's got dark yeah well <laughs> that'll happen <laughs> careful what you take kids yes this is a PSA this is, this is just a public this is a cautionary tale yeah. to not yeah. ingest research chemicals I mean, I don't really have anything to, like... <laughs> In my inventory, I put sage and rolling papers. <laughs> so you have rolling papers, but you have no... So that... Um, the, okay, so the Hoda figure notices that you're still there and is like, Listen, I I don't have time for this. You, Why don't you just leave? The door is over there and the... Yeah, if you if you don't leave, I won't use my uh, evil anti-pope powers on you. Anti-pope? I say I am the anti-pope. <laughs> I am anti Pope Constantine. Okay, um, I'm kind of into that. <laughs> what? 
Um, yes. Anti-religion, people, just spirituality only. People don't realize it, but there's all there's usually an anti-pope. Sometimes it is less public. I have an uncle pope. Bad? He, no? no? He also <laughs> just stares at you and doesn't understand. You're like, oh no, you don't understand. You see, <laughs> anti-pope means anti. Sorry, is my accent. But the it, it just means that I am like seated in opposition to current pope and I have, you know, big conflict with church and also with this man who owes me money. I don't know why I'm giving you all this expository information. I have I must torture him. And then uh yeah, so he goes and he gets like a, a Christmas tree. Santa's going go. <laughs> this is like the most intense trip that I've ever had. Like <laughs> And uh yeah, and uh yeah, you guys going to do anything or I I like I'm just like I'm like frozen. Like I don't even know how to okay. respond. I have I have I have I have I have nothing I have nothing in my inventory that I can help. I Maybe if anything, I'm like really stoned and notice the cookie and like accidentally take a bite, forgetting what it did. <laughs> I, Brad, what part do you take? What, what part of the cookie do you take a bite? Just out like of? a little bit of the hand. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the as you take a bite out of the hand, you just watch like blood start like showering out of Santa's arm, <laughs> and he goes, "Oh!" Whoa, whoa. You just like, but it's also getting more faint. It just feels like he's just like. He doesn't even have the life energy to, like, scream anymore, almost. Oh, my God. I think I just realized something. Listen, listen. Brad, Chad, was it Chad? Oh, my God. It's Brad. Brad? Sorry. I smoked a lot of weed. Um. Anyway, like, none of this is real. You yeah, know? Yeah, it's Christmas. Yeah, like, Christmas. Like, none of this is real. Like, I'm just going to eat this cookie. I'm... It, I'm just, I'm just. I eat the cookie. I eat the whole fucking thing. Brad, okay, Brad. Brad just like <laughs> looks at you disapprovingly. Like he's like, this is clearly a stupid idea, but does not say a word. Just lights another cigarette. I see. I see the look of disapproval, and it makes me eat the cookie even faster. So when you, as you were eating the cookie, the like Santa starts to scream, but also like wither and shrivel, and is becoming like a husk, and. What the anti-pope, uh, Constantine, like, he starts realizing you're doing this because he, he has kind of low perception. He was really focused. He was he was in flow, right? He was in a flow state of torturing Santa. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. And so he uh, realizes what you're doing that you're like, he's like, oh, my God, what are you doing? No, no, no. I need him alive. I need to get money back. And he's freaking out because, like, he tries to grab it from you and the cookie's gone. So he flies into a rage and um he's gonna just reach out and like he's just gonna like put his like robe hand up to your neck and like grab your neck and i'm strangely into it oh so you're not you're not gonna like do anything counter you're just gonna nope all right i want to i want you to uh roll one what how many what's your vibe score five okay i'm just gonna roll here Okay, so you lose four vibe points. You're down to one. Oh fuck! Yo, how the fuck is that? Like my HP, Starseed. Yeah. Welp. Yeah. So you kind of like fall to the ground, writhing in in pain, and you feel like you suddenly feel like all the pain Santa felt. You feel it in both your legs. You feel it in your butthole, and <laughs> like nothing's ha- like. Yeah, you're you're shriveling a little, but you're you're still alive. I would um, like to add also that she probably starts hearing a wasp. <laughs> sure no relation to personal experience no relation to personal yeah, no, experience any resemblance to any like real people or experiences and the wasp sound just like keeps echoing and echoing and echoing for eternity yeah 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 you definitely hear some like you know like cartoon characters see stars around their head you're <laughs> hearing you're hearing wasps around your head <laughs> and uh yeah so the um the 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 roped figure does kind of like walk over to a wall and he grabs like a big green reaper scythe and he's like oh you you're going to regret this you're going to be next 
but he's like walking really methodically like the T-1000. Like he's, you know, <laughs> he's not running. With purpose. Yeah, so he's walking over to the wall. He's and, walking towards a big scythe on the wall. And there's there's nothing else in this room. It was just like... Well, a, there's a lot of implements of torture. There's the door that he was saying, like, you can leave if you're not going to, if you're going to annoy me. How far away is the door? Um, I would say it's like if he's walking towards like that wall and you're sitting like here, the door is just kind of like there where that hallway is. And how withering is am i and how far away is he I, uh, he's like, kind of standing right i would say well where, did you go stand in a corner to smoke or do you just stand right there and do it stand right there yeah so he's just kind of standing over you and you kind of you know like when you say he's walking methodically is it like a comical like zombie walk like a like a very slow like <laughs> like you know sure yeah <laughs> like are we close enough to the door that we could just fuck off you could try it I, would I have to be dragged? Like, how injured am I? Am I? Am I, uh, super I think you could up? get up. Like, you got adrenaline. I feel like you got it. Well, I mean, unless unless you're really into that freeze response, you might just lay in the ground if that's how you react. I have to no danger. agility. I have no intelligence. And well, I have, you don't have advantage. But I I'm shitty at them. Yeah. So you could try oh, to do. Well, those... but I'm very resilient. You're resilient. Yeah, I picked that because I figured she probably does a lot of drugs. Okay, and, like, so I'm gonna roll a disadvantage <laughs> on your. Okay, so you wait. How many? Points to say you lost four? I have one point left. Yeah. You had five to start? Yeah. Okay, well, okay. Rolling with disadvantage, you still only, you still lost four, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you, what, you want to try to do something? Yeah, I think we'll just try and leave. Yeah, all right. Um, so, roll with, uh, yeah, roll your agility with disadvantage, I guess. Six. We got a Six. All right. Uh, do you, what are you gonna do in this like moment? Brad's probably standing there, just like he knows it's not real. <laughs> so he's just like, whatever, come at me, bro. Okay. Um, so I would say that, uh, like, you get to your feet, um, but by the time you get to your feet, he's uh, he's like looping over you with the scythe. He's like, "Are you going to leave? Is that what's happening?" Yeah. Uh, so he kind of just like smokes you with the flat of the scythe, and he's like, "Get the fuck out!" I, I do that. Right. That happens. Yeah. All right, that happens. So you you start walking towards the door, and he's like, "Hey, you, fuck boy, what's <laughs> fuck your boy. deal?" That should have named my character fuck boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's my deal? Um, I don't know. I'm probably just looking in the eyes. Just like I don't know, you can't hurt me. You're not even real. All right, he hits you with the he swings a scythe at you. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. So I don't even dodge. Do you, do you have an agility? I'm. A, yeah, I do have agility advantage. You don't dodge though. I don't dodge. All right. So. <laughs> okay. So he does two da two vibes damage to you. Are you also down to one? Yes. <laughs> All right. So he's he's mad now. He's just really mad. So he starts walking toward you and like trying to chase you out the door i'm like crawling away like army crawling all right um he kicks you in the ribs it hurts but it doesn't like yeah it, do it doesn't do any more damage to you he walks over to santa to see if he can like reanimate him somehow <laughs> but i've eaten him yeah um, he's, he's a withered husk but like you know the 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 anti-pope is a bit stunned by this he was not expecting you to kill santa <laughs> So he's kind of like stunned and he's just like thrown for a loop. I kind of just figured that like if I just ate the cookie and killed Santa, then that just like eliminates the problem. Well, I'm sh like Brad at this point, he's just like realizing that he actually not not experiencing physical pain, but experiencing a diminishing vibe. <laughs> and he's like, this is bullshit. So did you say Brad like he's slender, like he's not like a built dude? No, okay. yeah, he's slender, stoic. You're no, but you're now like you're now like dangerously skinny looking because you, you've withered a bit. Yeah, but I feel like he would just like turn around and be like, "This is bullshit," and knowing that this w is not real, it's just like a plane of imagination and hallucination. I just turn around and like full out, like Kamehameha, <laughs> like Eldritch blast towards the motherfucker who just hurt me. Okay, so you're you're gonna go attack him. Yes, I'm gonna attack him. All right. So the moment she crosses the threshold of the door, you find yourself back in a featureless white void. Just at the thought of attacking. <laughs> uh, no. Like as soon as she crossed the door, away. as soon as she crossed the threshold, you're both in a featureless white void. That third door is gone. Two more doors. 
Jesus. I want to go to that nice place. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, fuck Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I already killed him. I, I so uh, you, you hear the Prince of Christmas roll up. How have we already forgotten the Prince of Christmas is my spy? What? You killed Santa? Don't you understand? That's not saving Christmas. That's the opposite. Why would you kill Santa? I was really hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you both the way. Let me. Okay. It, it may still be possible. You just. You I can to... make myself throw up. I do that on ecstasy like all the time. Great. So. <laughs> So you you know what I say, mean when I say you need to save Christmas. You could, like Santa is a key figure of Christmas, right? He needs to deliver the presents. Now someone else is gonna have to deliver the presents. What what, what like what's your day job? Uh, <laughs> well, Just you're, pass the to buck. be fair, like you're the one that's like super overly concerned about what's happening here. So I feel like if anybody is like bound to do it, it's probably listen. I really it. want to send you back to your reality, but I may not be able to if if Christmas isn't saved. <laughs> Please try to do better, and he vanishes. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I I I use the lighter and I light myself on fire. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we do have to go to bed. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, you light yourself on fire, and um, like 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 the monk style. And now we're still high as balls in a white. Void. <laughs> yeah, so you set yourself on fire, and uh, it, it kind of snaps you back to the reality, and you wake up in a sort of, like, safe space, tripping balls and on fire. Sanctuary? And, uh, yeah, in and, like, you start fire. screaming, and this snaps Brad back to reality, and, uh, oh, yeah, you were, you were both... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, you both snap back to reality, and uh, you... <laughs> <laughs> and you're both screaming and they have to like get water to put you out um so you're oh, like horrible i'm actually like on fire yeah you get some pretty severe like third degree burns they gotta take you to medical she lit her dreads on fire yeah and um you're high for another like i don't know that was about like an hour and a half of time and oh so God. that sounds about right yeah you're gonna be high uh, that's what it another says 34 so. and a half yeah hours. you got about another 34 and a half hours <laughs> of like tripping <laughs> but yeah and you're you're so you're tripping in medical and you're you're you maybe eventually get back to your camp and you're trying to just tell people about like yeah so like there was there was a prince of christmas <laughs> and like it, it like it's all it's all real to you now and um <laughs> Yeah, and then you got a cool story for your scars. And uh, <laughs> six months later, uh, no, five months later, Christmas happens. Um, but, like, it's just, like, the worst Christmas ever. Like, <laughs> you don't get as many presents as you expect. Y you have a real bad Christmas. And then that was Christmas 2017. And they get, like, incrementally <laughs> better again over time. Things okay. kind of normalize. All right, all right. And, uh, yeah, and then you suddenly hear uh, a dramatic swell of music. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Wandering <monkey. laughs> That's right. That's what we call it. <laughs> well, that was some of the stupidest shit. <laughs> I honestly didn't know if my talent was going to come in useful, but here we are. I, I have no idea how to GM, so this is just this is just what I, happened. I was entertained.